Game Arambor dominating the league as many as suspected, they need to make that push into Europe. There are rumours around that they will be spending big this transfer window. All we can do is speculate, but one transfer confirmed. Hello everybody, welcome back. I hope you all had a very merry Christmas and you're all lining up perfectly for the new year. First off, my operation went well, everything was fine. Thank you for your support, it was really good. This is why there's been a bit of a delay in the video because of the Christmas break and my recovery, but I am on the mend and ready to go. I've spent quite a lot of money and we've got some new players. Some are decent, Two players have returned back to Maribor. I'm hoping you'll all be happy, especially the fans of Maribor that follow this channel. I think you'll all be happy. We'll have a quick look at them now. On a free transfer, Johnny Williams comes in. Now, he is a player that is a three and a half star current ability, three and a half star potential ability. My assistant manager says he's a quality player. He has been bought in on a rotation contract which isn't too bad. He came on a free transfer after on loan to Forest, Milton Keynes, Dons, Ipswich, Aston Villa. And I thought, yeah, he's, got, he's quite good. He's got stats that come with him, such as Composure, 13, Flair, 16, Vision, 14, Technique, 16, Passing, 14. He likes to dictate the tempo and he'll fit into our tactic because he likes to run with the ball often. He's generally quite a fit player and his dribbling is pretty good as well, up there with 14. Hoping that he'll give us a bit more of an option in centre midfield but as we crack on through the transfers you'll realise that'll be a recurring theme. Next up Glenn Johnson. Uh, 54 caps for England scoring a solitary goal during that time. He is 34. It is a short term solution to a problem at right back. Palsic has been a bit injury prone this year so in comes Glenn Johnson for a whopping 80k. His strength is 15, natural fitness 15, concentration 13, tackling 13, technique 14, work rate 14, positioning 14, teamwork 14. He's pretty good. He's not going to be starting. It's only on a six-month contract until the end of the year, but we'll have to see how he does. I think a very good backup option. Next up, Marco Bakic joins us. Montenegrin holding midfielder. Give a bit more competition to Vahovec in the middle. He joined us for a whopping 350k. He's already worth 725 now. He is going to do well. He's only 25. Three-star current ability, three-star potential ability. Again, assistant manager recommends he'll be a quality player for the squad. His first touch, 14. Composure, 14. Decisions, 13. Technique, 15. Passing, 15. He will fit us very nicely. Next up, Jan Mlakar. A striker, Slovenian. Hasn't made it into the senior national team yet, but he's got 21 under-21 caps with 5 under-21 goals. He comes in on loan from Fiorentina. They bought him early on in his career from Domzale for 800k. And we've now got him on loan. He spent the last season on loan at Bari in Serie A for Italy, scoring 6 in 14. And, yeah... He joins us, and I'm very happy with that acquisition. Finishing 15, first touch 15, decisions 15, determination 15, good off the ball movement of 16, current ability 3.5 star, potential ability possibly 4.5 star. Assistant recommends potential to be a key member of the first team. Contract wise, we are paying him 2,600 of his wages, which is about 50%, but we're not paying any monthly fee. So, hopefully, he'll do well. One of the returning players, Dino Hotic, is back. Woohoo! He's back from West Ham. We sold him to West Ham for a million pounds. We've bought him back for 600k. He is the potential to be a quality player in the team. He's 23. Again, hasn't broken into the Slovenian first team, but he's been in and around the under-21s for quite a while. Current ability is 2.5 star. Potential ability, 3.5 star. And his first touch, passing, work rate, flair... Stamina, strength, it's all pretty good. He's a midget at five foot six, but he'll definitely be able to fit into our team again. Welcome back, Dino. From there, Bradley Dack joins from Gillingham. 
for 4.9 million. Now, I have paid slightly over the top for him, but he's 25, hasn't had any under 21s or youth caps or full England caps for England, but my scouts and assistant manager were raving about him. He's a three and a half star player at the moment, potential to be five star apparently. He likes a shot from distance, he arrives in late into the opponent's area, he's got good pace, stamina, dribbling, passing, long shots, off the ball, work rate, vision, uh, teamwork, decent, determination, decisions, they're all 12 or above. He will fit into our team very, very nicely and he's only on a rotation contract which is very good. Last but not least, the return of the one and only Luka Zahovic is back. Whee! His dad is our director of football, Zlatko Zahovic. We've signed him for £5 million. Easily the biggest transfer I've ever done. Easily the biggest transfer Maribor I've ever done. But he comes with a decent record. So on loan at us three years ago, 7 in 24. Year after that, he played for Herovine, got 7 in 23. And then last year, or sorry, the beginning of this year, he scored 12 in 21, averaging a 7.2. He has the potential to completely rip up the Slovenian league and give us that little extra push into deeper, darker depths of Europe. Finishing 15, heading 14, composure 15, off the ball 13, pace 16, acceleration 14, agility 14. He's got everything we need in a striker. That is all the ins. Two outs that we can describe, really. Uh, Yasmin Mazanovic has moved to Mirandes. He moved there for 250k after we signed him on a free transfer. He scored 20, He played 25 league games for us, scoring eight goals. But, yeah, he never really, really progressed like we want him to. He was always going to be a short-term solution. And happy to let him go. Someone I wasn't happy to let go, the other guy we've let go, is Jure Balkovic. He's gone to SK Rapid Vienna. He started kicking up a fuss. The team started moaning that I wouldn't let him go. He will be missed because he was superb in the middle of the park. But if you think we bought him for 350k from Domzale and we've sold him for 2.5 million, potentially increasing as well, he, yeah, he'll do fine. I mean, he was a he averaged his worst average rating for us was 7.18 over a season. So he will be a big miss, but I think the players we've brought in will help ease his departure. There we go. That is the transfers done. Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, how do you think we've done in the transfer window? Do you think the transfers we've made are enough to let us push into Europe? Since we were last together, which was Euro Cup, yeah, the 2-2 draw, we beat Copper 1-0, Ruda Valenge, we beat 2-0, and then we played a couple of friendlies, so we beat Ljubljana, the minnow team, Ljubljana. 7-0. Winter break competition, we won it, but it was very unconvincing. And then we played Alumji for Marcos Tavares' testimonial, where he scored the only goal of the game, but didn't get man of the match in his own testimonial. So well done, football manager. And you join us for the double header against Lokomotiv Moscow in the Europa League first knockout round. So let's crack on with it. I'll see you at the game day. Okay, welcome back. This is how we line up. Behind my head, Jaskovic in goal. Pausic is at right back. Klemcic, Smee and Janza are the back four. Vahovec, Barman and Dak gets his first start for Maribor. Sintasau, Bade and Zan Selar up front. On the bench, we have Tavares, Johnny Williams, Savic, Filler, Bakic, Kavcic and La, the young goalkeeper. They line up in a 4-2-2-2. Defensive midfielder, narrow formation. They're going to be looking to get their width from the wing backs. I think we can have them at home. This is a very important game for us. So, into the game we go then. This will be a very important game, as I said. We need to get out there and dominate them from the off. And Pausic puts a ball in looking for Selar straight away. It's going to be interesting to see how Dak gets involved in the game. I picked him over Johnny Williams to start, so hopefully he won't let me down. But here come Lokomotiv Moscow, but Vahovex picked the ball up. Into Bade, Bade to Barman, out to Janza. Good passing straight away. Janza, ball in. Zan Selar, oh, he's hit the bar. He's hit the bar. Unlucky for the youngster. Jaskovic then, short goal kick to Pausic. Straight up the line to Sintasau. Barman, back to Sintasau. You'll notice that Zahovic and Moralex isn't playing today. 
Um, that's because... Oh, Sintasal's at the back post and we are 1-0 up. That's a great start in the game. Seven minutes in, 12th goal of the season for Sintasal. So Bade picks it up, little ball back. Dak with a lovely first time pass out to Yanza. Half volleys across all the way to the back post. Goalkeeper's nowhere to be seen. Sintasal is there. Uh, as I was saying, yeah, Zahovic and quite a few of the other signings were made on the on deadline day. So I couldn't actually register them in time to play for the Europa League. So I think after this knockout round, if we get through, we can then tell them we can re-register some players. So hopefully I'll be able to register them then. Palsic is looking for a ball in. It's come to Barman. Dak, oh, he's pulled a, made Dimitrov into a good save. Sintasal picks it up. So, oh, I think Smee just couldn't reach the header and Dimitriev picks it up very well. So Yanza with another long throw. It's poor clearance. Looking for Sintasal at the back and he's got his second goal of the game. Good old Sintasal. He's there. We are absolutely dominating them. They just can't handle our crosses. The goalkeeper's rubbish. Two, two of them. I mean, he's jumped really high. I think he's jumped on the back of his own player and he's fallen over. He is having a mare, Dimitriev, having an absolute mare. And we're into half-time. 2-0. I mean, I'm not going to tell him to do nothing. I'm saying I'm very pleased. We're 2-0 up. This is great. Keep it going. They've now changed their formation to attacking rather than just sitting on the defensive. So they're going to hopefully come at us. Maybe we can counteract them. So Dimitriev with a terrible, terrible goal kick out. And Sintasal got it from the knockdown from Klemcic. Out to Janza. Janza into Bade. Dak, Barman, out to Palsic, it's good play, ball's in, Sela was trying to get there, but, oh, Locomotive Moscow on the counter, Mike on, Skulec at the back post, and that's a very, very good counter attack there, as it was two on two at the back, both defenders got drawn to the ball, which left the guy at the back post, Skuletic, I think his name is, to tap in, and it is 2-1, and Locomotive Moscow have an away goal, Tarasov, Skuletic. Locomotive are getting back into this a bit now. Pals, it's Mike on, and it is 2-2. They've had two shots and two on target and two goals. This is not very good. Maybe the guys are a bit complacent after my team talk, but we should not have given this way. Pals, was a good good tackle, but it's fallen straight to Mike on, who just pings it into the corner. Damn. At the back, it's Palsic that's having a poor game, so Kavcic can come on and Klemcic can go to right back, because Glenn Johnson is one of those that was signed... And couldn't be registered in time. Bullying Ignatovic and it's hit the post and cleared away. And they've crawled, clawed themselves back into this game. Barman with a bit of a poor header, but luckily nothing comes from it. But Sintasau out to Klemcic. Ball in. It's poor clearance. Savic is there. And we've got the lead again. And that is 3 2. God, bloody hell. Well, Klemcic decided to cross from a little bit deeper up the pitch this time. Whipped in. It's a really poor clearance from Berlak. And Savic, just on the volley, just guides it home into the corner. Lovely finish. 3-2. Skeletic, Melanchuk, Mykon, Ignatovic. Good save from Janzevic. There's 15 minutes to go and I think I might start locking the game down. 10 minutes to go and we're going to make a little change. I say a little change. No, we're going to make a very big change. So, Janza, fullback, support. Klemcic, fullback, support. Uh, that can come off that. Advanced playmaker on support. Savage can drop back. Winger on support. Sintasal can drop back. Winger on support. I think that's what we're going to do. Right, let's go into the tactics. Don't need to exploit the middle. Don't want to pass into space. Don't want to be more expressive. Don't want to run at them. Don't want to look for the overlap. We do want to do all of that stuff. Close them down sometimes. Play a normal line, normal tempo. Keep it fairly narrow. We'll go structured, defensive. They can actually play it out from the back if they want. We'll go from there. Maybe bring on some fresh legs in a minute. Dak with a good ball into Sintasal though. Out to Janza. What can we do here on the left-hand side? Ball in. Savic and it's squared and couldn't quite find Sintasal. And Verhovek gives away a professional foul to slow the game down. Janzevic. Long goal kick looking for Selar. Good header down from the youngster. Sintasal into Barman. Barman into Dak. Dak to Verhovek. Hovic just keeps the ball, that's it. Just retain that possession, that's all we need to do. Back to Savage. Savage beats his man and gets down to the byline. Looks to swing across and Dimitriev was again flapping at it and it's just gone wide. Savage taking his time, it swings in the corner and it's poor, but he gets straight back to him. Janza to Savage, Vovec, Smee 
into Barman. Klemcic. Barman. Vahovec. We're keeping the ball really well. This is really good, guys. Really good. Dak, Sela, Klemcic. We are slowly getting through them as well, but Sindasal can't beat Denisov. Looks like that's going to be it, I think. We've held on to our third sub. Not used it that, but that'll be the game. And it is a 3-2 win we take into the second leg. Whew. Right, well, I've told them that I wasn't happy with the second half, but and then I'm going to tell Sindasal he was really good in front of goal, which will get his morale back up. Dak makes his debut. He seems to do pretty well. Right, see you at the second leg. Okay, welcome back. Here we are for the second leg, and you'll notice we line up in a slightly different formation. So we keep the same back four that started the last game with Vahovec in front of them and Jaskovic in goal. However, we've gone for a midfield three, which is Bradley Dak, and Bakic comes in to make his debut, and then Barman keeps his place in midfield. Tavares plays with Zancela up front. This is a bit more of a counter-attacking formation. We still try and build the ball from the back, but we press them high up the pitch. And hopefully, it's a few more better long balls up to Zan Selar as a poacher. And we go from there. The only change I might do during the game is if we're not having enough possession of the ball, I might change Bakic to a deep-line playmaker, just so that the balls go a bit more through him. But I've picked this formation because they have to get a goal, and I think we can counter-attack them. So... Let's see how it works out. Okay, so it's a snowy day out in Russia. We've all been told the weather isn't the best for football at this stage, but let's see how we do. So we've, well, we're attacking them from the off straight away. And Palsic is putting a terrible pass. And I hope it's given away a foul in the first minute. So Palsic into Dak's feet, back to Palsic. Up the line to Tavares. That's a good ball. Tavares to the byline. Zan Selar's there. And it was that little dinky ball over the top from Palsic into Tavares. Not into Selar, but into Tavares. So Palsic with a little dink over. Tavares gets to the byline. Flings it back. Goalkeeper's gone walkies again. And Zan Selar's there and has us an away goal. They really have to come and attack us now. On the stroke of half time. Zan Selar. Oh, it was nearly found Klemcic at the back post. Palsic is going to let that run out. And that will be half time. And it is... Very close to going 2-0 up. I passionately tell them I'm really pleased. Keep it going. And I'm going to risk the old... There's a lot more to come. Believe you've got what you take assertively. And most of them really like that. So let's keep that going. And hopefully we can just hold on. So they've got to score two. And then they'll go through an away goal still. Denisov into Skuletic, Tarasov. It's sort of following the same pattern at the moment, the game of the first leg, where we dominated the first half and then they came back into it. And it looks like the same might happen. And it's fallen to Mykon, who's he's offside. He's offside, dickhead. Stop celebrating. But we're a bit lucky there. Back into Tavares. Tavares' shot is blocked and Jans has picked it up and he's cut him filled with it for some reason. But he's won us a corner somehow out of all of that. Tavares to take it and he flings it to the back post and Bakic picks it up on his debut all the way back to Palsic. Janza, what can he do with it? Infield to Vahovec, Dak, Bakic. It's very congested in the middle of the park and Bakic tried to find Palsic and just booted it out. But somehow we've got to throw on the left and Smees hit it into the post, the outside of the post. That's really unlucky. Right, I'm going to make a quick change, I think. Let's put him, like I said, deep blind playmaker on support just to get the ball going through him. A little bit more because we're having the possession but we're not doing too much with it at the moment so Dak picks it up and it's a terrible terrible shot from range from Bradley Dak right it's 10 minutes to go here come Lokomotiv Moscow on another attack but so far we have stifled them Denisov cross was blocked but it's there keeping it well and Jaskovic makes a good save to get that out but Bradley Dak can come off for Johnny Williams for his debut but Hovec's getting a bit tired as well. He's only on 6.8, so Kavacic can come on and sit in that hole. That'll do for now. I don't want to mix it up too much. But yeah, I hope everyone had a good Christmas. I had a very good Christmas. It was very good. Um, it was very enjoyable. I've got lots of nice things, which is always good. And it was a good break from work and everything. And Johnny Williams, that's unlucky with that shot there. Game time. Ball in. Zan Selar is trying to find Tavares, but it's cleared. And he won't come on. And we have got through to the second knockout round, which is... Unbelievable. Very, very good. Right, we'll do the draw because it's tomorrow. I mean, we've bossed them over two games. We've absolutely bossed them, which is really, really good. Ah, I have a question for you. 
Would you prefer me to do two games? Obviously, this is going to be quite a long episode now, but would you prefer me to do two games every episode, but put them to key highlights? Because obviously, I do it on extended and then cut it down and show you. Whereas I could do two games on key highlights and just talk through the whole lot rather than slicing it up. You just have me talking all the time. So let me know. Do I keep this format where I put it on extended and then slice it up and edit it around the highlights so that we basically get one game in? but a bit of chat, but more highlights, or do you want it to be key highlights, but I'll show you the whole game where I chat about it and um, just chat around it, but we'll get two games into every episode. Let me know in the comments below. There's that rhyme again. Right, here we go. They are as varied as Valencia, Liverpool, NK Maribor, and Spartak Moscow. Spartak Moscow, that's what we want. Spartak Moscow is what we want. I would take, I think, who is that? Who's that? Oh, yeah, Lil. I would take Lil. I'll have Lil. Oh. Liverpool. I don't really want Liverpool. Good. Don't really want Valencia. Oh, that's a big game. Valencia v Dortmund. Meh. Double trip to Russia. Oh, Russian derby. Chelsea. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> oh, okay. So we're going to Chelsea again. We're playing Chelsea again. Oh. You know, we drew and then we lost to them 4-1. They smashed us. So I guess we'll be back for those two games against Chelsea. And we'll we'll go from there. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll chat to you guys in a bit. Check me out on Twitter. It says it uh, there somewhere, I think. At Cultured F. I'm also streaming on Twitch with a Stuttgart save every so often. Peter Crouch is leading the line. We're doing unbelievably well after getting promoted in the first season. And now I think we're sixth or seventh in the Bundesliga. But yeah, check it out. Anyway, I'm rambling once again. Thank you for watching, and I'll chat to you guys in a bit. Cheers.